Hi, my name is Sean. I'm a pin setter mechanic. I'm certified to work on Brunswick AA2 and jet back pin setters. Um, today, we're going to do another explained video. And this one comes at the request of Fallen Noble. Uh, he's asking if, uh, let's see, anything on how the cycle solenoid connects into the electrical box would be helpful. Okay, well then I'm going to I'm going to show you exactly where it connects and where everything is. Uh, this isn't on 15 per like our normal machine, but that's because 15 doesn't have a rebuilt control box like I do here on 35. So I'm gonna get this cover off and then I'll show you how it work how it connects before I go and point. Oh shit and everything like that. I'm gonna disconnect power so that way I don't get the shit shocked out of me. Thing that'll probably be different compared to yours is the time delay module. Um, this one's by Zot. Unfortunately, they're discontinued, which sucks because I think they had the best time delays on market. And if somebody can uh, point out, someone can reference me to another time delay module that uses lights so that way I can actually see what the hell's going on. That'd be great. Um, so when you're looking at your schematic, you have your schematic for your 208 volts, which I, I've looked at all of the ones, the 120, the uh, 208, the, I uh, can't remember the one above it, but I've looked at them all and from what I can tell, they are all virtually the same. I very well could be wrong though. So uh, we focus on the 208 one. Um, you're gonna look for your twist lock receptacle three. That is the one that plugs in. That's the one that your cycle solenoid plugs into underneath here on the uh, wire channel. So it is your plug right here. It's your first plug out of everything. So when you go and have that, you have your... All right, well, I'm gonna tell you what it hooks up to according to the schematic here. So you have, you have wire 27 that comes out of there. That's your ground wire. Your ground wire is going to hook up to here and it's going to go, go through here and it's gonna go and connect to the same place that your motor wire, uh, ground wire connects to. Second wire that comes off is going to be wire 59 and 59 comes out of your wire channel and goes all the way through and hooks up to your time delay on the very first on uh sorry i can't even say first on uh, number 20 on the time delay the other one that comes out is 11 11 should come out of here as well and it should hook up to here which should give you your power because the other wire, number 21, is at the bottom of the contactor, comes through, jumps power over to here, and then you should have, okay, I see what happened now. So when, it jump, when uh, this finally makes contact and uh, jumps power over to this terminal, uh, this is your motor wire, and your motor wire is directly in it, well then whoever who did this before I started taking over the boxes, uh, took number 11 and jumped it across over to here, which wouldn't be wrong because, I mean, it's just putting power across and it's still getting power, which uh, it's just wrong according to the schematic because the wire that's technically supposed to be there is on a pin finder, which we don't have and I have never seen anyone else in the United States have them. So, normally, yeah, there'd be a wire that goes from here to the pin finder plug up here, but we don't run those, so we don't need it. So, they put number 11 over here. So, number 11 from the uh, plug should go to D on terminal strip 1. Wire 59 from the plug should go to 20 on the time delay, and then your ground should go to your ground. Um, that's it, obviously, you know, you have your plug, the plug comes through, and 
course, grounds to the solenoid itself, and then you have your two uh, leads here, and then, yeah. So that's it. Uh, I really hope, I hope that helped. I know these can get extremely confusing, and especially if, especially if, um, like the reason we started doing it is because the before it'd be like took it off they changed out the part and then they forgot where it went so then it's like okay well up oh, there's power here so we'll put it here it's amazing how some of these are actually still running but we wanted everything to be consistent across the house so we've started changing out boxes and it's made everything a lot easier with the troubleshooting, especially when it's like, okay, everything's where it says it should be. So now it works fine. So if you guys ever have the opportunity to l spend the shit out of money and start doing electrical boxes, then 100% take advantage of that opportunity and make everything even across your house and make everything so much so much easier but um i hope this has helped you out with uh as to where everything hooks up to i mean mine is a little bit funky but it still works where it is because nothing really changes um that's it so uh, i hope anyone else who has had questions about where the cycle solenoid plugs into uh, in the box. I hope that this has helped clear up any confusion and then I will see you guys in the next video. Please, please, please leave uh, requests in the comments so that way I know what everyone wants explained in the uh, on the machine. And it's no, it's not like, this is proof that it's not just bound to the electro, uh, the mechanical. I can explain some of the electrical too, so, um, yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next video, bye.